Hi everyone, so we are back with more white sauce and this is the key all-star set. So this is the set that supposedly came out before other lane, but because of the consolidated shipping, I only got it at the same time as my other lane. But because I'm so hyped up with other lane that I decided to do that opening first and then we get back to the key all-star. So for this set, there are 3 SECs, 13 SP, 7 KSC, 14 triple rare and 43 SR. So for key all-stars, you can see it features uh, quite a number of uh, animes so it's just not one series but multiple series so yeah i mean overall i think for our azalin we didn't exactly do very well uh, in total we have opened uh, 32 32 trial decks got one sp and then we have opened 12 booster box also similarly one sp uh, the rates are supposedly better than that, but yeah, uh, unfortunately for sets that I usually are very highly interested in, I don't do very well on those. Let's see if uh, Key All-Star happen to be uh, better to us, compared to Azalean, shall we? Uh, I don't know, I mean I'm not exactly a fan of the artworks from the first pack so far. I mean I know there are some nice series in here, but overall I don't know, the artwork after opening Azalean, uh, at least the climaxes look good. I mean, after opening Azalean, I feel that this set is underwhelming. I mean, after all, Azalean is the set that I was most hyped up about this year. Uh, apart from Sword Art Online, which we opened just right before Azalean. Whoa! <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm allowed to show that artwork. So I'm just very quickly going to move past. Double hand. So yeah, it seems like uh, most of the artwork features, you know, TB style characters and all that, so nothing special. But then there are some quite provocative artwork in here. Okay, uh, wasn't expecting that. But I know that there are some series in here that people are highly anticipated about, Angel Beats and so on. Uh, not a series I'm familiar with, unfortunately. So I can't really say much about the characters or anything. Double rare, and our rare, and climax. So I realized that some of the recent stats do feature uh, artwork that can be a bit more provocative in nature. I heard that DGS now have decided uh, to stop grading those uh, more provocative artwork. I'm not sure if they have resumed, but there was a period where they made a stand and they said that they wouldn't grade them. And PSA was the only one that did. But yeah, I'm not sure. Um, let me know what your experience with those kind of cards. Uh, and if BGS still grades them. I guess it would be a shame if you pull a nice like a Dragon Maid uh, trial deck SP and uh, you try sending it into BGS and they decide not to grade it right. That would be quite unfortunate. I think I'm also not sure what's the ratio for this key uh, all-star set. But uh, maybe, I think it's uh, 2 KST, 1 SP, something like that. I'm not sure. Let me know if you know the case ratio. Okay, this is a nice looking SR. So like I said, the normal artwork might not be that nice, but the foils do look good. And it seems like maybe it's just one high rarity. Uh, cut per box because that's the that's the only high rarity cut we pull so far uh, apart from our double rare of course and next rare yeah it seems like that's the case I mean I'm not a fan of many of the series here but I still think it's uh, interesting to open to see the variety of cuts that we get and also to see how the higher rarity cards look like. Okay, so it is two high rarity cards per box. But compared to the previous SR, I think this one looks rather plain. So if you ask me, uh, artwork for the set, not a fan. I'm not a fan of the key all star set. But I heard the voice do look better. So that's the that's the thing. Uh, some sets that the artwork may not look good uh, are redeemed somewhat by their voice. So box topper. So it seems like this is one of those sets, 
And then we have steps that, regardless whether is it a normal rarity card or is it a foil, they all look very good. I recall the Star Wars set, even the common and uncommon cards look so good. I'm like not really familiar with a lot of the series, uh, a lot of the series in this set. I really can't comment, comment much about the characters, about the series. All I can just say is what I think about the artwork. I think the RRD and above cards do look decent. It's just that the common and uncommon cards just look very subpar and normal to me. Uh, I guess the redeeming factor is this set that I contain. Uh, some provocative artwork, so I guess that sells in terms of value, right? I'm not sure if it's enough to make this one of the more popular sets. Uh, because I also haven't been playing for a while, I'm not sure uh, how meta this set can be. But yeah, if you do play competitively, let me know. Oh, what? Definitely wasn't expecting this. Wow. So yes, I was saying, unfortunately not familiar with the series, so I can't really comment on the character or what series she is from, but damn, like I said, voice look really really good. Look at that. So yeah, the comment and comment may not look that good, but the voice look pretty pretty sharp. Wow, look at that, man! Awesome. Wasn't expecting that. I would have preferred if I have put Azalin SP instead of her, but hey. Uh, so far, I mean, any SPs we pull, we have always been adding them to our binder. And yeah, another good looking SP for the collection is always a win in my book. So if we put an SP, does that mean we still can expect one more high rarity card from the box? I think. So now that we are wrapping up for the year, do let me know what are some of the highly anticipated sets that you are looking forward to in the new year and also at the same time maybe what are some sets that have not been announced but you wish they would have made it into a set. I think there are many many pretty awesome animes that uh, I think would be really good if they can actually make it into a set. Uh, I'm not sure how licensing works, whether we can get them, but yeah it would have been cool. Uh, anyway, next year also we have this new TCG called Union Arena. Uh, so far we've already seen that there, there are Bleach, uh, what else, Juju Sen, Kaisen or something. Uh, yeah, and some other, some other series, I can't remember, but yeah, I might look into that. Well, I still primarily want to open Y Source, but uh, I am intrigued by the Bleach set, so I might uh, actually get maybe a box just to take a look, see what it looks like. I haven't decided yet, but yeah, I mean, I think it comes out in March next year. So yeah, I still have some time before the pre-order close. But I think that nowadays there are too many TCG, you know, there's that one piece TCG, then now we have Union Arena, and both are by Bandai. Uh, we still have Build Divide that we open occasionally, and then there is Rebirth for you. Yeah, there are just too many TCG and not enough money in my wallet to open them all. But anyway, yeah, that was very quickly two boxes. Two boxes of our all stars and very very fortunate somehow from our two boxes we pull an sp i mean i really wish we have put an sp uh for our azalin but end up we pull an sp for our key all star uh i'm not familiar with uh who she is or what series she's from but i must say i do like her character design a lot so it's another cool card to add to the binder but yeah uh definitely looking forward to more openings in the new year 
let me know what you guys think. Uh, we also have some reprints that we might open up before the new year. So subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, so you can also look out for those. But if not, take care, stay safe, and I will see you all soon. Bye now!